In this video, we're going to configure PAT, or Port Address Translation, on the ASA. PAT allows us to NAT, or essentially mask, multiple private IP addresses behind a single public IP address. This is a really easy configuration to do. The logic for the PAT configuration is that you first must create your network object. This is the group of addresses that will be padded. In this case, it's my LAN subnet, so I'm going to create a network object named LAN. The network will be 10.10.10.0, and the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0. The final part of this configuration is adding the NAT statement, which declares how these IP addresses will be NATed. When I was first learning how to configure NAT, the hardest part for me to wrap my head around was the fact that we configured NAT statements from the perspective or the direction of the NATed IP addresses. So the NAT statement for this case would be NAT Inside Outside Dynamic Interface. What this means is that the subnet 10.10.10.0/24 are being NATed as they go from the inside interface to the outside interface. The dynamic keyword is a statement that tells the ASA to dynamically use port address translation. And then finally, interface. That tells the ASA to NAT it using whatever IP address is configured on the outside interface. Alternatively, we could have replaced the interface keyword with a public IP address instead. That way, if you didn't want to use the interface IP address, you could have substituted another one. Now we're going to go ahead and test this. I'm going to swing around to a PC behind the firewall and have it attempt to connect to the internet. Okay, let me go ahead and pull up a browser and just try to access any page. Now that that's connecting, let's go back to the ASA CLI. Issuing the show xlate command, I should be able to see the dynamic pad entries. Looks good. And with that, that's the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. It was a pretty short one this time.